Alrighty, hi, I'm Christy, Christy Dutcher, and welcome to my home, welcome, welcome to my kitchen. Um, today I'm going to be preparing a Creole gumbo. Um, I'm originally from New Orleans, so this is authentic, original, um, New Orleans style Creole gumbo. Basically, what we're going to do is uh, start with making a roux, and it's almost like uh, starting a, um, a thick brown gravy. And what you want to do is you want to get started by um, using your pan, uh, adding in, sauteing in your, your butter, and just kind of like letting that heat up really, really good. And then from there, I start with uh, uh, basic flour. Go ahead and sprinkle in the flour and um, then I just kind of like brown it all together. So now I'm browning the roux and as I said before you want to really keep a watchful eye making, making sure that you don't get a burned roux because that's going to affect the flavor of your gumbo. What you do is you continue to add your water, continue to add butter and continue to stir and continue to increase the amount of your roux until you get it to the consistency that you need it to put it in your pot. Then after the roux is ready to go, I'm just going to go ahead and add it in a pot, the gumbo pot that I'm going to be using. So I put that in there and then I, I use my, uh, I use the, uh, I take an, enough water. Right now in this pot is the, the chicken broth and the water um, to increase the gumbo, I mean to uh, make the, the full gumbo. So what I do is, um, I go ahead from this part, I have all of my seasonings and everything already made and ready. Now what I've done is, I've got my garlic chopped up, ready to go. So I go ahead and add that into my pot also. Um, also what we're going to add is about um, a cup of chopped celery. and. Um, when I was a child, this was my job to chop up all of the celery and the, and the seasonings and to make sure that it was all ready uh, for the gumbo when my mom and sisters were ready to prepare it. This is my onion, same thing, chopped onion, about a cup of chopped onion, about uh, a half a cup of bell peppers. I also have about a half a cup of celery, I mean, excuse me, parsley, and as we all know, parsley is really good for your digestive system. Here I have chopped okra. Um, in Creole gumbo, lots of times you'll, you'll find okra and depending on if your guest, if they're familiar with okra or if they really like the, the flavor of okra, you can go ahead and add that in. And if not, you know, you can leave it out. So I'll go ahead and add it because I know some people in my family really love it. Me. <laughs> All right. Now we are simmering the gumbo we've got our veggies in our okra everything is in and now what we're going to do is concentrate on the meat ingredients that we're ready to start cooking with now like i said about gumbo it takes more time to prepare everything than it does for the gumbo to actually cook so in preparation i have already um, prepared most of the meats that's going to go in okay took my time and cleaned all the shrimp and crab we have sausage and then we have chicken now for the chicken what i use is i use chicken wings okay and what i've done is i've taken these chicken wings and i've cut them up into small bite-sized pieces to go in the gumbo it just makes for a better presentation and it's easier when you're eating gumbo to put it on your spoon so it just works well and what i've done is i've taken the chicken cut it up i use just plain uh, sea salt and pepper and I season it with that um, and then I just lay them all in the bottom of a pan and I bake this for about um, 25 minutes in the oven. I sprinkle it with um, a little uh, onion just to get the seasoning. I cover it and then um, from that it's going to create its own juices and it's going to be really nice and moist but not overcooked where it's falling off the bone. That's what you really don't want to do. Um, like I said, uh, when it comes out of the oven, it's going to be in its own juices. And at that point, you take your chicken after it's baked in, in the oven for 20, 25 minutes. Uh, I bake it at about 395, 400, somewhere in there. And, um, and then I just go ahead and I just add the chicken into the gumbo. Where I'm from in New Orleans, the good cooks, they usually will take the sausage and fry them up, brown them up, 
and the reason why it's it's going to extract a lot of oil and fats from the sausage so if you're really health conscious and don't want all of that in your gumbo that's a really good way to get it out or you can cook it and then you know refrigerate your gumbo and then when you're done there'll be like a, a grease ring on top of it you can just take all of that out and that's the easy way so that's what I do so I'll go ahead and I've you can see I've cut these sausages up and just you know maybe a quarter inch little circles and I just drop them right in there okay so now I'll go ahead and put in my shrimp our 15 minutes has gone we have our our crab and what I have is I, I have two large Dungeonettes crabs they're cleaned and then and um, you just leave everything in the shell and I just cut the crab into sections with the backs on and they're just kind of like cut hole just like that you know clean and wash them and then you just go ahead and put your crab in you know you usually have a great big bowl of them and you just kind of pour them right on in and just put them down in there and then you just bring this all to a boil now you want to cook this for like another 10 minutes uh, the last ingredient you want to add is called gumbo filet and what gumbo filet is is grounded up sassafras leaves and it gives the uh, Creole gumbo a very unique flavor also um, you want to just kind of sprinkle just a little bit on top and I'm just uh, just enough where you can see it it's very concentrated you don't need a whole lot at all and then you use one bay leaf and just put it in your gumbo set it right on the top of it cover you cover the gumbo at that point and turn the fire off and you just let it simmer okay so then when you're done this is what your gumbo is going to look like as you can see you've got your your shrimp and crab you've got your um, chicken and the sausages and it's steaming and it's, it's ready it's it's got all of the flavors cooked in your gumbo and what you want to do is you want to um, serve your gumbo over um, cooked rice and there we have it and you can use a larger bowl but this is the one I I usually eat from so and here we have our Creole gumbo straight from New Orleans <laughs>